Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. I want to double back real quick uh, and kind of do a, you know, a kind of a, a confluence of two cities, Cleveland and New York. Um, we did Around the Horn, me and Jimmy, on OG uh, a couple weeks ago, or about, I think it dropped about a week ago, and we touched on Cleveland, but there was a part of the Cleveland LCN orbit that I did not touch on that I want to touch on here, and it relates to the Gambino's mob crew in Cleveland um, that has been in existence for the last 15 years. Um, it's run by John Gotti's former son-in-law, Carmine the Bull Agnello was married to Victoria Gotti, uh, you know, the the kind of uh, reality television star from the 2000s in the show Growing Up Gotti. You saw Victoria. Um, Agnello was married to Victoria for 20 years, um, became a capo underneath her father, sorry, her brother. Uh, John Gotti obviously led the family from uh, 85, uh, till he went to prison in, uh, 90, gave the acting boss job to his son, John Jr. Jr. Allegedly promoted his then brother-in-law, Carmine Agnello to a skipper post. Uh, it's a guy that's been well known, uh, both on the East coast and now in the, in the Midwest, uh, for running scrap yards, scrap metal, um, and went to prison for about eight years on an extortion charge with his uh for his work with the gambinos in new york uh queens um brooklyn and whatnot and came out of prison in 08 and relocated to cleveland um he already has taken a uh, federal bus there about eight years ago i believe uh got busted and you know worked some type of plea deal where he didn't end up having to do much time but we know for a fact from federal court filings that he has a presence in Cleveland. He moved there um, because he met his second wife in a prison visiting room, was serving time with her father, who was an Armenian arms dealer, terrorist, um, political activist, and uh, was from the, the Cleveland, Ohio area. He, he moved there in 08, married... Uh, I believe her name was Danielle in 09, oh, late 08, maybe. Uh, and then I'm told that a, you know, over a dozen guys from Agnello's crew uh, in New York City relocated to Cleveland, Ohio, and followed him there. Uh, some of those guys, I'm told, a chunk of those guys have returned. Didn't love the Midwest living. But uh, there is still a crew operational there right now, according to my sources. And I'm told that all of the old Gotti guys are big fans of Carmine Agnello. Um, the, the relationship with the Gotti group was bumpy at first, late seventies, early eighties. Agnello was a, uh, you know, dating the, the future mafia princess, and Gotti didn't like it. Uh, there was a couple incidents, altercations where he took some beatings, but eventually got the blessing and, and married Victoria and. Uh, you know, a lot of these old school Gotti guys, the Corozos, Lenny De, Mar uh, Lenny De Maria, are big fans of Agnello. And I'm told that uh, the bull drives into New York every month or two uh, and meets directly with Lenny De Maria, who is the alleged underboss of the Gambinos right now. So just giving everybody an update. The Gambino mob is in Cleveland, has been for the last 15 years. They work, uh, they have some arrangement with the Cleveland guys who are right now kind of functioning as they're a small, very small LCN group that is kind of being propped up right now by Chicago and Detroit. That's the update. Quick hitter, Scott Bernstein, OG pod out.